Hello everybody, this is the first of two videos which will use this same worksheet. The first one that I'm going to do is about using an if statement, the second one will be about absolute cell reference. So let's get started with the if statement. Let's understand what we're looking at first. This is an employee payroll for the month of April. I have the name of my employees, Ralph, Mary, Juan, and Jane. I have the sales, how much do they actually sell this month, and the quota, how much do we uh, do we expect them to sell? Now the whole worksheet is about this. If their sales is greater than their quota, we're going to write it here, quota is exceeded, we're going to give them a 10% bonus. If their sale does not exceed the quota, we're going to give them a 5% bonus. So let's create formula. I'm going to click in the cell where I want that to that formula to uh, be created. And that's uh, my bonus for Ralph. And I need to go up and perform formulas. I'm going to insert a function, and the function I want is the if, uh, if function. So, okay, and now it pops up the, the dialog box for the function arguments for the if function. If there are three arguments. Logical test, that is what we want to test for, is the sale greater than the quota. Value of true, what are we going to do if it is? Value of false, what are we going to do if it isn't? So, let's create the logical test. My logical test is, is the sale, and then greater than, so I type that in, the quota. And in this case, it's already evaluated, and said, in this case, it's false. Now, what am I going to do, do if it's true? I click in that section. I'm going to take the sale, and I'm going to multiply it by, remember the value up here is 10%, which is 0.1, and it says, in that case, it would be 4,800. The value of false, what if it's not true? I'm going to take the sales, I'm going to multiply it by 0.05, remember that's 5%. And now it's I've entered my three uh, arguments. What am I going to do if it's true? Um, excuse me, what do I want it to test? What am I going to do if it's true? And what am I going to do if it's false? Notice that up here on the formula bar, there is my function. It is equals if B7 greater than E7, comma, and we remember, notice we didn't type that in. It's a requirement in Excel, just type it in for us. D7 times 0.1, that's what it's going to do if it's true, comma, to separate the third section, D7 times 0.05. So let's say, okay, and it evaluates it, and it puts it in as 2,400 bucks. Now, I don't want to have to type this in for every person, so obviously we're just going to use the fill handle, drag down, and there's the result for each employee. Ralph, 2400, Mary, 2500, Juan, 5100, and Jane, 6200. Now, wait a minute, why did Mary get only 5%? Why is hers 2500? Because her sale did not, a sales value did not exceed exceed the quota. Therefore, she only gets 2500 Well, let, let's do this. Let's click on Mary. We're, go, we're going to go up here and go to her sales, and we're going to increase that by one. So now she gets 50100 for her sale. Watch this formula right here when I click check, enter box or check, and there you go, $5,000.10, because in this case, she exceeded it. Therefore, she got 10%. All right, just for the heck of it, let's do something. We're going to go up here and change, make a change. It, uh, a, an if statement does not have to always contain mathematics. It can also do something else. The first part is the, is the evaluation. It is the decision. Then, of course, there's what to do if it's true, what to do if it's false. Well, we're going to change the false. We're going to click and drag across this. Instead of giving them a 5% bonus, we're not going to give them any money at all. So we're going to, you know, we're going to put text in here. But in order to do that, we have to put it in quotation marks. So, quote, uh, sorry, um, Charlie. Sorry, Charlie. And check. Now it says, sorry, Charlie. In other words, Ralph's not going to get any money. That's going to copy. We're going to copy that formula down so everybody has the same formula. And at this point, he's the only one who did not exceed uh, the uh, quota. So everybody else gets money, but Charlie, um, Ralph here just gets a message. And it's, I know Charlie is not his name, it's just the same. Sorry, Charlie. Now, let's to make sure that the, you see what's happening here. We're going to go back to Mary, and we're going to change her back to her original value. She gets 50000 even. Now, watch what happens her, uh, down here to her formula. Sorry, Charlie. She didn't get any money at all. 
So this is the if statement, three sections for the if statement, that is the, the evaluation right here, that is making the decision what to do if it's true, and in this case, what to do if it's false, which is just text as opposed to a value. Hope that helped everybody out. Talk to you later, and the next, next one's right up.